It is the dream of many American citizens to enlist in the Army. As young men and women consider the possibilities, they have many questions. What other jobs are there in the Army other than going to war? What the risks are in joining the Army? And do you need a college degree? There are many opportunities in the Army. It just depends on your interests and your ASVAB scores. You can be anything from a mechanic and work on tanks, armored vehicles, and AH-64 helicopters, all the way to a criminal investigator and investigating crimes such as murderers or bank robberies. How long is basic training and where is it? Basic training is nine weeks long and the location varies based on your specialties. There are many risks in the army and they are almost impossible to know the risks because you always are being sent all over America and the risks are always varying depending on where you go. But one risk is getting diagnosed with PTSD, which is caused by seeing one of your comrades get shot and killed or blown up. And it doesn't even have to be one of your comrades. It could be from just seeing a mass amount of people dying. Another risk is the obvious one, and that is death, because you always have a chance of dying anywhere you go. People always wonder if you need a college degree to join the army, and that answer is no. You do not need one to enlist. But the cool thing is, while being in the army, is you can go to college and the army will pay for it. Can I take college courses while in the military? Yes, the military will pay up to 100% of the first $4,500 of your tuition. Also, people wonder, do you even need a high school diploma? And the answer is yes, and even if you didn't, why would you not want one? Because even if you don't get accepted, you will still have chances to do other jobs, but without that diploma, you will possibly get denied by other jobs, and you could be stuck at McDonald's flipping burgers. So do you want to enlist? Because if you do, there are a lot of opportunities, but with these opportunities comes risk. But in the end, protecting and serving your country is the highest caliber of work, and it deserves the most respect.